Hey guys, good to have you all back. It is Monday. Hope you all had a fantastic weekend. Let's get back into crafting. Can you tell what we're doing today? Look at my desk. Yeah, we're doing specimen slides. Specimen slides. And I'm using uh, the newest digital kit from Michelle at the Junk Dome Studio called Entomology and Botanicals. For those of you who are not familiar with the Junk Journal Studio, I'm linking everything below. Um, the Junk Journal Studio is run by Michelle. I love Michelle. I am on her design team. What does this mean? Uh, because sometimes you see in a title DTP, which means Design Team Project. Um, Michelle makes beautiful digital kits. She sends them to me and then I try to make something pretty with it. And uh, with Michelle kits, that always works out because they are gorgeous. Um, there's also such a thing as guest design team, which means um, sometimes a digital artist asks me to do a project with their digitals, uh, but not on a regular basis. Uh, with Michelle, I am like on a design team. Everything, Every time she brings something out, I will try to use it. Okay, for those of you who are familiar with Michelle's... Um, digital kits you already know a couple of things for one it's going to be beautiful it's going to be huge it's going to be affordable and there will be freebies every time so yeah um it is gorgeous i love it it's all about specimen slides and such and botanicals and entomology um it's 29 pages guys yeah it's it's huge there's a lot of fussy cutting in here and there's already a freebie out, uh, a four-page freebie. So, yeah. Uh, if you want the kit, I'm linking it below. Yeah. Uh, if you want to have a play along, just, you know, buy it, print it out, and then start cutting. And I'll see you next Tuesday because it is enormous again. So, I've been cutting out a couple of pages, not all of them. However, I will show you all the pages, guys. Okay, I'm going to show you the pages and then what I have cut out already. The kit is split up in sort of sections. Uh, what I already printed and cut out were the slides themselves. I just love them. We're going to play with these guys. So different sort of sizes of slides with uh, round windows, large rectangular, and then the smaller ones. Lots of labels in this one. And, uh, you know, I love my labels. So she made some with text in them. Beautiful sort of vintage writing. Uh, in these shapes and in these shapes, yeah. But she also made, and I really love this, Michelle, some beautiful vintage looking labels with nothing in them. So we can stamp our own thing in this. Yeah, <laughs> love it, love it, love it. And then some bigger ones. Oh, just loved it. It's like, I don't know, a library card thingy. Look at those. Yeah, um, love them, love them, love them. Then um, lots of these hexagons with bugs in them and flowers and butterflies and such. Uh, tabs, she made these that I really like. You can fold them in and use them as a tab. Then sort of these, really cute. And she made these. Now, it was a lot of fussy cutting. So what did I do with these? I cut one out and then I was like, I have this punch, right? Yeah, so I took my punch. And then I just punched the other ones out with, you know, I cheated, I cheated. Big labels. I love them. So these were a couple of pages that I already cut out. Now for the other, uh, for the other sections of the kit. Words. These are not sentiments because I wouldn't touch sentiments. Now guys, <clears throat> because there were so many pages, uh, some of them I printed two two page, some of them I pr even printed four two page, but I really want to show them. So uh, two pages of words, not sentiments, not like, oh, happy, fun, love, courage, such. No, it's like specimen and slide and herbarium and and you know such and some beautiful hexagons so two pages of these i printed one out in a larger size this is the the actual size yeah because i really love this and i might even use some of these words yeah then the next section is images yes that are reversible let me show you um i'm gonna take out the biggest page I printed this out for two page. Look at this, like sea creatures, flowers, bugs, mushrooms. Lots of these, lots of these. Uh, this is for two page, this is two two page. Butterflies, leaves, dragonflies, ladybugs, mushrooms, seashells even. Yeah, so this is one of the, the full pages. Now let me explain what this is. 
um, these, if you cut these out and back them together, yeah, uh, it will be the same because you want your slides to be sort of see-through, right? Yeah, so she made them so that you can fussy cut them and they will be the exact same on the reverse, yes? Also with the mushrooms and with, with everything. So that is a brilliant idea, Michelle. Really, really love this. So yeah, the reversible. It says, image are mirrored for double-sided slides. Great idea, great idea. I just printed out the box in a bigger size. Then she has lots. If you don't want to do the fussy cutting, you don't need to do the fussy cutting. Again, guys, these are printed four to a page. Because... I didn't want to print out 29 pages. <laughs> um, so the circles. The circles will be bigger if you print them uh, full size. Yeah, it will be this size. Probably a little bit bigger so you can sort of glue them in. And then and these ones. And lovely. So all the images that you've seen uh, reverse. Yeah, are also in circles and squares. And bigger square. Oh, loved it. Look at these with the toads and the fishes. Yeah, so if you don't want to do any fuzzy cutting, um, cut these out. Yeah. And then for the freebie, she already made freebie, four page freebie. And she actually made this. This page is mirrored for printing slides on transparency. I'm going to um, uh, explain why she did this. What is mirrored? The text on it, as you, as you can see, well, you probably can't. The text on it is in um, is mirrored. On this one is mirrored. So it's... You can't really read it. But I'll show you because I printed this one out on acetate. Because I love acetate. So this is a freebie. Four pages. Love it. Okay, I'm going to flip this over, guys. Because I need something white in the background. I printed the freebie out that it was meant for acetate. Yeah? Because what happens with acetate... You put it in one side. Yeah? And it, it's printed on the gritty side. But then, if you want to use the sort of glossy side, all the words will be mirrored. So she mirrored the image so you can print it out and use the glossy side. Am I making any sense? Hopefully I am. So it this is the actual print. Yes. It doesn't say field because it's you know, reverse. And I can use the glossy side now. It's gorgeous. These are especially made for um, these bigger ones. Yeah. Love it. Love it. So that's it for the kit, kit, guys. I'm going to link everything below. Go grab it because it's amazing. Uh, and not only for making slides. Because look at the amount of labels that are in here. And there's lots of them that I even, even didn't cut out. Okay. Uh, for the rest of the supplies. Let me show you. I am not using any more paper bits. Because <laughs> there's already enough in there. I am, however, using more acetate. I have some acetate sort of scraps left that I printed on. Yeah. And I want to use this. Some printed on acetate. Um, speaking of acetate, what do I use? Where is it? I use um, transparency film overhead projector sheet. Whatever. I find these uh, thrifting. Yeah. I have all sorts. All sorts. Yes. Most of them really, really old. Uh, but you can still buy them on Amazon and such. Yes. Most of them have this sort of line. You put it in. Your, your printer prints on the other side. You don't need a very special printer, guys. I mean, my printer is awesome and amazing. And, you know, brilliant by itself. Uh, but you can just use a normal printer. I don't have a laser jet printer. I have an inkjet printer. So you don't need the fancy smancy stuff. Just try it. Just try it, yeah? So I have some of these scraps that I... Look, I have some florals even. Can you see it? Let me let me put something behind here. Yeah, this this will look cute. I think it will look cute. I've been experimenting with overhead sheets. Overhead projector sheets, whatever. Um, so that's what, what I'm using for paper. What else am I using? I am going to do some stamping. I know Michelle has lots of beautiful images in them. But I want to have some black and whites. And most of them are colored. I want to have some black and white. So I'm probably going to use uh, moss studies or entomology. <laughs> entomology. I'm going to use some of this. And for uh, well, field notes. Of course, this is the best set to use if you're going to do a project 
uh, similar to this one. So field notes and maybe uh, eccentric. You don't need all of these guys. I just I have them and I want to use them. Uh, splatter stem. Uh, for the color, I'm using fallen leaves. Surprise, fallen leaves, really? <laughs> I'm using a circle punch, guys. Why? Because I need to punch the circles out. I am not going to do this with scissors. So the round bits I'm going to use my circle punch for. For the other part, and let me show you what I mean with this. This, I'm using a knife and a ruler. I'm not going to touch it with my scissors. No, knife and a ruler. I'm going to uh, cut these out. I will be using scissors for other stuff. I'm rounding corners. Why? Let me show you. There are sort of, sort of rounded corners on here. So I'm going to try to do this with my corner rounder. Not even necessary. Glue, of course. Art for this project. Uh, I will be inking and distressing. I'm thinking walnut stain, but I might switch it out. Uh, if you look at the slides, there are some dots here and there. That scream for either brats or eyelets. So probably, probably. Maybe I'll get some other stuff out. I don't know. But, you know, for now, let's start. What I'm going to do, guys, and this will take me a while. I am going to cut all of these out. I'm going to show one of you on camera and then I'm going to do all of the rest, you know, off camera. Otherwise, we'll be here until Thursday. <laughs> so I'll be right back. If you have been counting the pages, you know you're missing four. That's correct. She has background pages, four of them, beautiful ones. I use those for the backgrounds. So a couple of different ones with the grid and this one. Uh, did I use all of them? I, I used a couple of them. Um, and uh, well, beautiful ones. Just Oh, and this one is a darker color with grid and then one with beautiful images on them as well. So for background pages. I did print these all of these out double-sided so with lovely something on the background why because let's say you're using this one yeah this is a frame on the, on the front but closed on the other side if you cut this out and fold it in this needs to have something lovely on it otherwise it'll be white right so that's why i did this now in the kit there are three sizes of these a uh, big medium and small and then let's i'm gonna take the small one and then all of them have uh, a double frame with some decorating a double frame that is sort of plain and a double frame no a single frame that is plain yeah so all of them have those probably okay now uh, a tip for you guys i'm going to take my um circle punch yeah this is not really my size. This is not a two incher. It's a little bit smaller, but that's okay. I am not going to do this. I am going to do this, but first I'm going to fold it in because I need these circles to be the exact same size. So if I do this and flip it out and do this, it'll probably not be the exact same. And we need to have it the exact same. Uh, same with these ones. I'm just going to fold them in. Yeah. And then cut them out because then these two parts will probably be the exact same size. Hopefully, hopefully. Also with these ones. With this, I'm just gonna cut this out, yeah? So let's just see. Now I printed this uh, double-sided as well. Not necessary at all, no. So I'm just gonna fold these in, yeah? Heavy paper. I printed these on 180 grams because I want these to be really, really sturdy. Yeah, so fold it in, they match up. Now I'm going to take my circle punch. Hopefully it will not struggle because two pages, heavy paper. There you go. See, I went a little bit off, but not here because that's the exact same. So that's okay. Uh, I'm going to do the same with my uh, corner rounder. Hopefully it will take... The two layers yes then the corners will be the exact same if you're gonna do it um like so they will probably not really match up well hopefully there you go this is going how i'm gonna do the the circle ones and then these ones let's do this one the bigger one have them line up yes Okie dokie. Mm. 
And let's see. I'd rather take off a little bit of the brown than leave uh, a little bit of the white. Does that make any sense? Otherwise, lots of inking. Lots of inking. Now, hopefully, this really matches up on the back as well. Otherwise, lots of inking. <laughs> And the last one. Did it work? Well, this one did. See, um, I left a little bit of white there. That's okay, lovies. Yeah, I'm just going to take some ink and, and ink it. Yeah, and I also have to cut this out and this out and this out. So uh, that's what I'll be doing. I'm not going to do all of them. I'm just going to do a couple of them because, you know, there's not enough hours in the day. Okay, cut out your frames. Be right back. Cut a lot of them out. I'm starting with the big ones. Now, this one um, I cut out completely. Also, these ends and inked it. And then this one, just this frame. I'm going to do this after I glued everything down. Yeah. Um, I really want to play with the acetate because those are lovely. I cut out two of the images. One is this big sort of bug and then this is the butterfly. Now, acetate is lovely when it's completely see-through. Let's get a page, uh, a white page underneath, guys, so that you can see. Yeah, it's really lovely when it's completely see-through. But why not put acetate on uh, a piece of paper? It just, it just looks amazing. This just looks amazing. Okay, so I'm going to do this one here and this one here. Now, don't cut it the exact size of the frame lobbies because we need to attach it somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. So this is going to go in here. Yeah, I'm just going to put the white underneath. Yeah, oh, so lovely. Now, um, before I glue it, before I glue everything down, I also want to see if I want to put, for example, this um, sort of underneath here. Or or there, or or what have you. Same with the, the labels. You could put a label in. You don't have to put it on the outside. You could also decide to put something on the inside. I think I want to put some, one of those. Sort of. See, there. Yeah. Does that make any sense? Hopefully. Do we need a tab on the on the top with this one? Ooh, with another bug? That'll be lovely. Let's see another one, a smaller one. Yeah, so maybe then we move this sort of over there. Yes? Okay. Thinking this. I really need to re-ink my walnut stain. Uh, walnut stain. This is the, the oldest um, Tim Holtz ink pad that I have. This is the first color I bought. Walnut stain. I have a re-inker. Yeah. Oh, that looks way lovelier already. Just ink it, guys. Just ink it. And this is going to go on the top. Now, this isn't, uh, of course, a see-through one. So, I'm thinking... <laughs> I need to do this. Also on the other side. Yeah. Very important. Um, specimen collected or specimen, oh, specimen collected. I'm just going to do two different ones. I did print it on something. Yeah. Do we need to double side it or is this sort of enough? Or stamp something lovely on it. Yeah, we don't need to do it double-sided. We're just going to stamp something on it. Yeah, I'm going to use this, this, and this. What else? Well, labels. But all of the labels are going to go on top of it. This is the only one that I want to have on the inside. Yeah? Okay. Let's take out something lovely. I'm going to go, of course, uh, field notes. Because we're doing sort of field notes. Number. That's small. Something bigger. 
bigger number. And this one? Too big? What do you want? Too big or too small? Make up your mind. This one? Perfect. There we go. Um, where's my ink? Here it is. Fallen leaves. Yes. Okay. This one on one side, this one on the other side. Great. I think I'm going to glue it on the inside before I do anything else. Good morning, Art. How's she going? Yes, it was the weekend, but the weekend's done. Small strippy glue on the bottom. Is it straight? Specimen. So cool, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Oh, look with the number. Yes. Yay. Yay. Okay, gluing down the acetate. Guys, if you glue down acetate, don't put glue. Uh, I'm going to put glue on the, the paper and not on the acetate. Because the glue will do this. <laughs> we don't want this. Am I going to cut a piece off on the top? small bit, just a tiny bit. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, so I am not gluing on the edge, just leaving a, like uh, an eighth of an inch of room. Also trying not to put Lots of glue on. I can put a, bit, a little bit more glue here. Let's see. A little bit. Oh, it's 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 art love. It's stuck. <laughs> I wanted to have this word on here. Oh, but that's okay. That's okay. There's probably going to be a, a label on there anyway. So you won't even see it. Yeah? Well. Yeah, that's done. Now I'm going to try to put glue on not the acetate. <laughs> More glue uh, sort of on the, on the paper. On the edges. It's okay if there's a little bit of glue on the acetate. But not a lot, lovies. Otherwise, it will sort of seep out and you will see it. And that's not what we want. There you go, there you go, there you go. No, I did something wrong. I need glue here. Careful of. Yes, otherwise it will sort of. Yeah, that looks way better. So, yeah, uh, we're going to decorate. We're going to decorate. And then the other, other tall one, it's a little bit too big, so I'm going to just cut it off. Does this need anything before we glue it in? Um, not label something, label something. Something green. Yeah? Yeah. Are you sure about the green? I'm, I am sure about the black. <laughs> bit here and a bit here. Mm, 
Yes. I think I want to have a tap on this side. Maybe we, we can do one of the, the bigger ones. Yeah? What do you think? Probably really cool. Okay, so I'm gonna glue this in and I'm gonna glue all around it. I'm gonna glue it shut. It's in here, yeah? What I want to do is put this label. I cut it a little bit shorter, guys, because this piece was wider than this piece and I don't want this. So I cut a little bit off, yeah? Um, and it does leave a little bit of room for for something so i was thinking i'm gonna put a number here and then filed on top of it yeah doing the number first already inky fingers uh what was the number well this part we're gonna do this part just tapped it not the letter There's a lovely dotted line that needs a number. Oh, do we want to leave it like this? No, I'm going to do filed as well. Filed. Top. There you go. Lovely. Yep. Yeah. So we're going to put this here. Already loving it a lot. Um, now, I did not cut these out. I did do it on the other ones. And then I was like, maybe you should wait. And, um, you know, first glue them together and then cut them out. Because then they will be the exact same size. Yes. Lovely tap. Now, let me show you guys how I did this. Uh, because... Tiny bits, tiny, tiny bits. I just took out my very, very small scissors. These are eyelash, eyelash scissors or tweezer scissors. And I just snipped here. Here. Here and here. Yes. And then I took out my ruler and my knife. You could do this with scissors, love, but I am rubbish with this. So I decided on cutting. See, here's one. And here's the other one. Also, I have not rounded corners here. Corner rounder. There you go. Yeah. And then and then you ink it. Yeah. Same on the other side. Ooh, we could do a lovely sort of. Oh, I have these big labels. Yes, I'm going to put something lovely on the back as well. So I'm going to do that with the other side as well, love. Um, and then we're going to decorate. You might hear some thunder in the back, uh, guys. We're having a big storm. So it's rain and thunder and I'm, well, I enjoy it. Okay, um, decorating. I took out this one. And also what I did was cut out some of these words. I actually like the words. It's not anything like love or, you know, happy. It's a word. Just words. Yeah. So I was thinking to put this sort of here and then double label it. Yeah. Yeah, but we need a, a thin uh, strip of glue. There we go. Yeah, and then specimen eight. There, a little bit. There, somewhere. Not a lot of glue because it will seep out, guys, on acetate. Oh. 
Okay, pretty. Very pretty. It needs something here. It does. It needs something there. Um, identification check. Yeah. There was a blank spot. Tada. Yeah, something extra, another, I don't think so. Probably gonna put a sort of an, an eyelet in here or maybe, I don't know, I don't know. This one's done for now. Now for this one, um, there's a little bit, well, I'm hoping, hoping you can see it's blue. So I'm thinking something blue, but not a big one. Like a smaller one. Yeah, with another number. Yeah, I think I will do the brown. Yes. Oh, I love the label so much. Yeah, I'm I'm going to print them out a couple more times. <laughs> and have them in my stash because I'll probably use them for something. Oh, uh, this is the see-through one. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put the same label on the back, but probably in another color. Do we have another sort of square-ish one? Yes, we do. See, I'm just going to do this. Yeah, first inking. Could have stamped something on it, but no. I forgot. This is see-through. Lining it up. Yeah, that's perfect. That is perfect. Okie dokie. This one as well. No, I'm not going to take any more chances. Um, thinking about putting this underneath then. I don't want to cover this up. Of course you don't. Hmm. Hmm. Just in the middle. No, don't do smack in the middle. We don't do in the middle. We do this. Yes, that's what we do. As you can tell, guys, I'm not lining it up here, and I'm not lining it up here. It's just, it just just looks better if you don't line everything up. Okay, there we go. Does it need a the tiniest stamp? I have figure one, two, of which I'm just going to use figure one. Do I have one that says figure one bigger? Yes, of course you do. This one. Figure one. Uh, it needs a little bit of ink. Is everything ink? Yes, but also a piece of figure two. Figure one. Yeah. I don't know. Number here. Oops. Stick. Thank you. And thank you. Yeah, lovely. Look at that. Look at that. What did I do? Well, you dipped it in something. Speaking of, ta da. <laughs> another number and another label. I want a label that says something. Yeah, I also have, where did I keep them? Here, some larger pieces. Mm. It says butterfly, this is not a butterfly. No. Also not a moth. <laughs> Really, it isn't. No, it's not. Does this say? Mm. 
Oh, I'm just gonna put on slide. Just put on slide, love. It'll be fine. Already lots of numbers on here. Should we do a, a this? We will. We will. So much better. Now I want this here. <laughs> I'm just going to flip this over, guys. I do not want to stamp on the acetate. But I really want to have this on here. Because it looks fantastic. See? Oh, yes, do we want this here? Oh, we need to do the back. We need to do the back of this one. Is this one done? Yes. Uh, I was thinking, yeah. Because I have these bigger ones. I am going to flip this over. It will be sort of upside down, but who cares? Um, I want this to sort of read well. Yeah, I'm going to just have this one on here. And this and uh, another sort of butterfly thingy. And the round stamp here. Yeah. Could make this into a pocket. But I'm not going to. No. But you could. Yes. Australia. Probably. West Australia, because there's a W in front of it. Where was the moth thingy? Now I'm thinking it's too big. Actually, I should have put it over there. No. Do you want another? No. So I'm going to keep it as is. This one and this one. Well, two done. Let's do the round one. Uh, I want to do this with acetate, but my own acetate. I'm going to double up the acetate. Yes. And put this in between. I did fussy cut these out. Yeah. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to glue them against one another. And see if it worked well. And then probably going to ink it a little bit. A little bit. Uh, I am going to use normal glue stick uh, because I need to wiggle it about a little bit and um, art glitter glue does not allow any wiggling. There will be no wiggling. Let's see. Did I do a good job? I actually did. Yeah, I think it matches up. Is anything sticking out? No, it isn't. There we go. Okay, now I have um, a piece of blank acetate left from the sheet that I printed from uh, Michelle's print. And this is something that I've had for a long time in my stash. And I was thinking to put this sort of on there yes uh, let me show you with something white underneath yeah and then um and this but also put this here so um does it look nice it doesn't no i don't like it it's going to be blank both sides but i do not have enough on this piece so i would need to take out a piece of my own that's okay. I have lots. You could also use packaging material, lovies. No worries. Yeah. The only thing is, it needs to be sort of glued to something. Yeah. 
Well, okay. Well, this, I mean, it needs to be glued on here. I don't think it will hold. It will probably sort of move the I don't know. I don't know. Let's get a piece of acetate. Uh, I have some. Um, I'm going to take some of this. No, that's cloudy, love. That's too cloudy. Well, then, one of these. Yeah. Just cutting off a piece. There we go. Question is, will this hold? Did I make it too short? Don't tell me you made it. I cut it too short. I cut it too short. Well, not too short anymore. Will it hold? I'm guessing it will. So, we're just going to glue one of those down. quiet now i know i'm not going to put in a label i'm going to put labels on the outside and then i'm going to put a piece here yep and i'm just hoping It will stay but i need to glue the pieces of acetate also to one another yeah <laughs> will that work i have no clue guys never done this i'm hoping it will Straight? Is it is it the right setup? Oh, please check. Please check, love. Yes, it is the right setup. Otherwise, we would have had an upside down B. Well, B. Was nice knowing you. Goodbye. stays yes it stays great oh it looks great though yeah love it let's decorate for a bit let's see i'm not throwing this out no i could use it for some oh, actually, i actually already know where i'm gonna use it for um what i'm gonna have on here a big label with something on it brown one yeah i don't know what this means guys could be like really pretty blue flower and then there's a bee there but you know doesn't really matter. It's going to have this here. Do we want one of these that says collected? Oh, yes, we do. Yes, we want. That is good. Oops. Okay. And this. I need to cover up this number. But that's okay. Could have moved it up a little bit, but you know. I'm using art glitter glue, does not want to move. There we go. Oh, I love this. That is cute. I need to cut a lot of these. Yeah, I love this. Um, do we? I, I think I want to have a label that sort of wraps around. Um, bigger one? No, smaller one. Hmm. 
Ja, I'm going to fold this first. Oh yes, love this. Love this. Do we want a lab test or a reference number? We do. Love this. Do we want something stamped underneath before I put this on? Do we want something stamped here? Yeah. Yeah, we do. We do. What? Well, I have a smaller circle thingy. There's a blue one here. There you go. Yeah. Just like so. See, looks way more interesting. There we go. What are we doing? Oh, this one. Do you want to add another color or I'm now going to do brown? Yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't have, would have wanted a one more green thing on here and I don't want. I don't want that. There you go. Specimen number seven. Whoops. Great right. We have a blank space here that we're going to fill with more numbers, of course. Yeah. What do we want on the back? Ooh, maybe one of one of these um oh yeah for sure one of these yes love this are we going to add a tap i don't think so this one goes on here I love this, so I do not want to cover this up. We could do this. Or, or not. Or not. I don't want to have another focal point there. This goes here, and maybe we want... Do we have another brown one? No, I only have green ones left. Or we're just going to put a stamp there. Yeah. Fantastic. Done. I want to do a couple more. Guys, this is a smaller one. Yes, a see-through one. I put in some acetate that I printed on. This is one of my uh, freebies that I printed on acetate. Love it. It has an advertisement piece on it. And I um, actually stamped two moths from, well, moth studies from Tim Holtz in uh, Fallen Leaves. They are almost identical, uh, but not really. So <laughs> I did ink some. Now I'm not going to layer them between two pieces of acetate. I'm thinking I'm just going to put them on the outside. Will that work? Well, I'm just going to put them on the outside because why not? Because why not? Also, because this is going to be on the other side as well. Um, it's okay to glue on the acetate. Now, Again, do not put a lot of glue on. Also, not on the edges. Oh, that looks amazing. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Yeah. Okay. Now, these need to line up exactly. I'm hoping that'll work.
Yeah. Well, that worked. Well, that worked. Now, the... Um, uh, the writing is mirrored, but that's okay, lovies. That's that's quite all right. Oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, before I do the decorating, I want to do this one as well. Now, I put uh, acetate with numbers. <laughs> and then the small piece that I had left, I am going to sandwich this one in between here. Yeah. I might even... Can we maybe put... Uh, cut out a smaller one or will that be too big two of them and then I'm gonna try this I'm gonna try something guys I'm gonna cut out this one and this one because I know these are the exact same size yeah I'm going to sort of put them on the what is it wasp well bug first cut them out change my mind because they are actually too big so I'm going to put them like so yeah okay so acetate here acetate here i'm just gonna glue this down i must say art glitter glue works really well with the acetate i am very impressed there we go Yeah, so this is in between and this is on top. You can do either or, whatever you want. Let's put one of the lovely numbers here. Yeah. I'm gonna do the same one on the back, but then in green. Did I ink it? Yes, you did. Line it up, love. Line it up. Yes, it's lined up. There we go. It's a small piece, so I don't think I'm going to put any big um, labels on here. This is a little bit bigger, so this could basically have a something. Do you want something with color? No, I'm going to keep it black and white. Oh, this is a lovely one. Oh, wait, do we need to stamp something here? Yellow? No. Or red. That could also be really cool. Are these the same size? They are. Okay, so one side is going to be black and the other side is going to be red. Do you want to have red on the front? We do. Inking. Yeah. Do we want to have sta something stamped underneath? We probably do. Well, I ha uh, Field Notes has this stamp with a butterfly. It's a bit much, right? Or, or uh, where is it? I'm going to use Moth Studies. Because I, I actually used, I believe, this one. Oh, I'm going to even gonna do it over it. Am I? Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, one. Here's the stamp. But it also needs a something here. No. Um, well, this one. Move aside. There you go. Here's one. And then this one here. Oh, it's going to look lovely. Oh, yes. So, 
somewhere on the top. Yeah. Okay, this is going to go on the back. I'm going to glue this on the back, guys. With the... Uh, this here and this on the top tada yeah so i'm gonna finish this one what we do with the other one oh the other one was up no i need it needs a little bit of stamping which one which one this says types type slide Will that be nice? Well, I think it will be. This is the back, so we're gonna sort of try it on the back. Mm -hmm. Now it only says slide. So not really happy with this one. Um, I'm just gonna do this one. Wheeler, London. Yeah. And Small number here. And here. So cute. So cute, right? I have two more, guys. Let's see if I have the time to uh, do them on camera. I just really want to finish them. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, this is one that had the backing, right? I already put a stamp on here uh what i want to do is just put a stamp there yeah because i have those and when will i ever use them well for this sort of project so that's why i'm using the stamps um also gonna do one yes with one of michelle's images because uh, you know she made them especially for this i'm going to do it over it because i really want this to be in the center or sort of the center There you go. All sorts of loveliness. Um, I'm going to do more stamping, of course. But I also want to have this here. Or. Upside down here. <laughs> no, because I want to have this one here. So, not there. Maybe there. I'm going to have this one here. Yes, that's what we're going to do. Okay, some glue, please. Come on, Art. Work with me, love. Have you been open too long? No, there you go. Yes, there's one. Does it need some more stamping here on the top? This is going to go over here. Maybe a number. Yeah, I'm going to have a number there. Yes, that's fine, love. That's fine. Just needed a little something. Um, do we need more? No. So now we can glue it down. I'm not putting acetate in it. I could, I could put acetate. Are you not going to put acetate in it? No, because I just want to show you. You don't need acetate to do this project, guys. No, of course not. Just, you know, glue it down. It's lovely as is. Yeah, stamp something on it. Name of remitter. There you go. What are you doing? Well, put it down. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I was just fiddling about. And then this goes here, but it needs uh, something there. So I think I'm going to have the big circle stamp there. I'm 
but not on the part of the butterfly, so underneath. Yeah. And then this one here. Yes. There's already this number on here. Um, filed? Filed. Yes. What am I going to do on the back? Already put a stamp there. This says morning cloak butterfly tigers, tiger swallowtail. Okay. Well, all of this in one butterfly. Who knew? Put a... A stamp on it, put a stamp here. And there we go. This goes here. And this goes a little bit more below. Sure. Alrighty then. See? No acetate, still lovely. Now this is one of Michelle's, yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna, you know, glue this in here. Yeah, just glue it on and uh, and then decorate it. Let's have it a little bit in the middle. Art's not having it. Yeah, sure. See, like so, already inked the inside, guys. And then you just glue it down. And you decorate it. Okay, guys. I'm going to um, have a, a last look at them and decorate this one. And then we'll check the end result. Of course we went over an hour. That's what happens when I'm having fun. Guys, I did one off camera. This one, because um, I'm going to put something white underneath. Yes, why not just use a part of the, you know, acetate. You don't need to put a whole butterfly on. So I did this one. And I did some finishing touches, guys. Yeah, I punched the holes and then put uh, hole reinforcers on. On this one. Yes, also on the back. Circles on the back and um, squares on the front. Some stamping. Let's see this one. I didn't do anything to this one anymore. I think this one was finished. It's just pretty. Yeah. Really like it. Do we have another estate one? Um, yeah. This one I put in eyelets. Yeah. And this is the one that had the butterflies on the top. So not um, in between two pieces. Yeah, another acetate one. This one, the cute little bee. Yes, I put on uh, brads. Now, um, the, with the brads, you do see the legs on the outside, on the other side. So that is too bad. But, you know, it, it's really cute on the front. <laughs> and then uh, this one. Don't need this one. These are bad. Oh, no, I have another uh, acetate one. Yes, with the bee. I made a bee dangle. Sort of a dangle. From the hexagons. Yeah. I just put an eyelet in, a piece of a baker's twine with yellow stripes because B, B. Yeah. So I made a small little bead angle. Did I do some more stamping? Could have. I don't. I don't. Can't remember anymore. But it's cute. It's cute. And then this one, I just put in an eyelet in the, because there was room there. Yeah. And I put a lovely little bee charm on here. here. Yeah, well, it's a ladybug and a bee, but that's okay. And some decorating, guys. And the um, uh, eyelets in the corners. This on the other side. And then this, this big one. Uh, I just put in two eyelets and then this, because I wanted to add uh, another blue element to it. Yeah. And then this on the back. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I really like making these. Yeah, I I love them. And you can put all sorts in. Acetate or just paper, vellum. Uh, you know what else you can put in there? The pet tape. Yeah, pet tape. Just leave the backing on and uh, put it in there. Uh, unless it's a bigger piece like this, what I would recommend is put the pet tape on a piece of uh, clear acetate. 
um, and then put it in because then it would be a little bit sturdier. Yeah. So guys, um, I am linking the kit below. Go have a look at it because it is amazing as you know, as always. Thank you so much, Michelle, for making this for us. Well, for me especially. <laughs> I just I just love her stuff and I have not even cut half of it out. I'll be back again tomorrow, guys, with another lovely project. I have no clue what yet. Later this week, I will do Tina's um, faux poster stamp catalog. I'm still waiting on my stamps. Yes. And I want to do that project. So I'm hoping uh, it'll be soon. Until then, guys. Bye.